Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to show you how you can make some 3D metallic like text in Photoshop. <laughs> now this is a preview of what it should look like once it is finished. Uh, you can move them both around, there you go. And let's start. File new and make your canvas, I've got it 1280 by 720 and the background to white. Okay. Now you just want to grab your text tool and click there. I'm going to type Chrome. Now a lot of people ask what fonts I use, even though I say it. I'm using the font Bebas, highlighting up there, B-E-B-A-S. And have the text highlighted and change the color to a middle-ish gray. That'll do. And then, once you've got your text sorted, you want to rasterize the type. Now, once you're rasterizing the type, um, you won't be able to change what the text is saying. So, once I've rasterized it, I wouldn't be able to change it from Chrome to Designs, for example. So, right-click on that layer and go to Rasterize Type. And then, if you go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective, you can make it so it's fading away. So as you seen in the last preview, it, w it was fading into the distance. Click the tick. There you go. So let's just get smaller. Now to make it 3D, what you want to do is you want to basically you're going to use Control Alt and you're going to use Left. Now as you see here, the text is fading to the right, so you're going to use Control Alt and Left. Whereas if it was going to the left, uh, you'd use Control Alt Right. If you kind of get what I mean, so hold Control and Alt, and just keep spamming left. I usually like to get it about between 10 and 15, 12 would do. Then if you hold Shift from the first copy, not the original, but the copy to the last copy, and right-click and merge layers, and then drag that underneath the original one. So the original one is on top. Then you got the bunch of copies, and you've got just the random background. So as you can see here, you've got some kind of bulky text. You might not notice much difference for now, but on the top layer that says Chrome, double click on it or right click blending options. And then I go to bevel and emboss. And you want to make this, you want to lower the size a bit to about two. And when it says gloss contour, you want to go down to this one here where it's like two little spikes. It's called the ring double. And it'll make it much, much darker for the front. Now you can alternate with these settings, but I think that's alright to be fair. Does the job. Hit OK. And then you want to uh, you want to right click and copy the layer style that you just made. And you want to paste it into the copy so it should do the same for the rest. But now on those copies, double click, bring up the blending options. And under bevel and emboss, you want to change the size. So as you see here, if I'm increasing the size, it, it brings in lighter sections. So it looks more metallic-y and like there's a reflection going on. Now once you've done this, you've got the basic 3D text there. You can add a drop shadow or whatnot. You can add a gradient overlay, which looks quite cool because it's black at the bottom and white at the top. And a stroke, maybe messed around on the blending options that looks quite cool and there you have it some nice 3d text now you already done this in a previous tutorial if you were subscribed to me back then or if you watched that video uh, the reason why i redid it was mainly because i sounded like i wanted to kill myself in the voice that i used in the tutorial it was one of the first ones i did but anyway this is now there you have it some nice 3d text uh, thanks for watching this video guys I'd appreciate a like and a comment and subscribe if this helped you out and um, that is about it and I'll see you guys soon bye